I include uh, stories from um, Andy Dalton, uh, from the quarterback of, of the Bengals. Andy is is just a solid as a as a person as you'll ever find. And um, we had we spent a lot of time together. I'll see him this Thursday uh, when the Colts come into town. Uh, we talked to Benjamin Watson, who has mm. come out of retirement now, <laughs> and uh, which Patriots. Is, he's with he's back with the, he's back with the Patriots, who we won a Super Bowl with, and uh, that that was fun. So uh, Ben, you know, Ben's in there. Um, we were able to spend some time with Anthony Munoz, uh, uh, Chad Pennington, who you know obviously played for. Uh, the Dolphins and, and, and the Jets, and he's from our area as far as Marshall University, where we are close to Marshall. And, and so th- those are some of the guys who are in it. The, the gentleman who wrote the forward, his name's um, William White, uh, played for the Buckeyes, uh, played for Ohio State, went on to enjoy a good career in the NFL, played in the Super Bowl with the Falcons. Um, he wrote the forward. Um, he also is suffering from ALS right now, and there's mm. a chapter uh, about how he's dealing with that. He's a very inspirational man. Uh, so those are some of the men you'll read about and some of their stories. Adam Vinatieri is in here. Uh, like I said, uh, Kirk Cousins. And um, I'm going to have to go back and look through some of these. Vernon Fox as well. Memory lane here. So yes. what, did, what did Kirk have to say? Let's give Kirk Cousins well, some love here. I've uh, always liked Kirk. Kirk, uh, actually Scott, Scott McCausey, my friend Scott McCausey, actually did those interviews. Uh, he actually interviewed uh, uh, Kirk. I wasn't privy to, to, to be there. I interviewed probably 99% of the people in the book. That was one I did not <laughs> get personally in, personally uh, get to. I, I did talk to um, um, uh, Gerald McCoy, who, who's a fantastic player. Kurt Warner, I interviewed him up at the Super Bowl. Uh, Tom, Lane, Tom Lane Fear is a chaplain of the Minnesota Vikings. Not a lot of folks know who he is. Uh, Tom Lane Fear has a, a wonderful story to tell about how he helps people, how he helps players throughout the league hmm. and throughout and who are on his team who are struggling. Wow. Who, you know, these new kids come in. He, he has a lot of advice for them. So when you take these stories, they're part of a devotional. Each of these has mm-hmm. its, uh, each of these players has his own devotional in it. And you, you actually highlight some principles that people can learn from the mm-hmm. testimony. So share with us what you're, what you're doing with that. Yeah. Um, this, this book's not about football, so to speak. It's about stories that I talk to about these players who, you know, they have problems like, like you do and I do, but it's how they got through them. So it's not a book about football. It's about football players, well-known football players who have struggles and how they got through them. One uh, really good one I like is when I talk to Chad Pennington. Um, he's got a couple of devotions in here. And I took his story about how he used to love to play football and was very good at it. He wasn't the best in the world, but, you know, he, he was the uh, um, runner-up to the Most Valuable Player Award in the NFL one year behind Peyton Manning. He was that good. He had that mm. good of a year where he finished second in, in, in the MVP voting. Comeback player of the year twice, which is really unusual. So Chad had a good career. And he when he, tra- when he went to Miami, he had a, a difficult time. He was coming back through injuries, and he was benched. And for the last several months of his career, he was benched. He hated football. He hated going to work. He hated practice. He hated everything about it. So he had a personal struggle with football. He felt like everybody betrayed him. Um, he worked all of his life, and now people turned his back on him. So he called his personal fire that he went through, and he kept asking, questioning God, why am I going through this? <clears throat> so now what he does now for the league is he helps players who have you know, been let go, cut, retired, who are trying to adjust to life after football when the glamour goes away, the light bulbs go away, the flash, the autograph seekers go away, their identity goes away, and how mm, he now wow. helps them because he went through that himself. 